Grand rising to my king, queen, guys, and goddess. It is your boy, Terrible One Star. Got to break it down to my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus, baby. Now, this is a disclaimer. This is a general reading. Take it as it resonate. Now, if it resonates with you, make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, and share button. That's very, very important for us as well. I had to throw a little bit of Florida water. You know, I uh, had to clean, cleanse the little section of the healing hands. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, had that basically being said, Virgo, the title of this one is The Decision is Made. All bitter and toxic ships finally must sell, okay? All bitter and toxic ships finally must sell. So, Virgo, I feel like right now with the pre-energy that I already poured out, I left the cards out before I go and throw them back in there. Uh, it was the Wheel of Fortune basically being in reverse, the Three of Pentacles in reverse, and also the King of Wands basically being in reverse, okay, Virgo? So, I also feel like with the Wheel of Fortune basically being in reverse, it's some type of decision either you or somebody else is making or some type of poor decision as you finally accepting things for how they are. Probably deal with a poor partnership. It could be dealing with love. It could be dealing with uh, a job or it could be dealing with somebody who's uptight and very, very bitter. Someone who's filled with ego. Uh, not only that, someone who is not looking at things clearly the same way as you are, okay? Take it as it resonates, Virgo. So that's just a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and jump into it, get into meditation. Then we're going to go ahead and do our prayer and then we're going to rock out. So make sure y'all hit that like, comment, subscribe button. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to all my A1 Day 1s. Shout out to all my newbies. Just shout out to every single one of you. I love you. Nobody ain't told you today i'm proud of you yes if you fail and you made a bump in the road get back up and do it again baby every day is a new day for you to be better okay that's the part of this channel that's what we do we heal we grow we learn and as well okay now let's go ahead and get into this now virgo every season is a season okay every choice has a consequence however a friend can be a foe and everybody who's supposed to be spiritual isn't spiritual. Now, with that basically being said, Virgo, when it, when it, when I'm saying every season is a season, uh, some things have a beginning and some things have an end. Sometimes we like to carry on on to things that supposed to end or something we supposed to let go that we don't let go of and, and it create a hesitant or a delayed situation dealing with, with our growth. Okay, Virgo? Now, um, every choice that you make do have a consequence. It's called the laws of cause and effect. Okay? The universal laws. Now, not only that, uh, everybody spiritual isn't spiritual. Everybody a friend isn't a friend. Everybody who's Christian ain't a Christian. That's just a slogan. So don't, don't quote me like he's saying this, that, and other. But what I'm basically saying is, if you're not walking in a light the way that ha how you're supposed to be or doing the way that you're supposed to do in the pureness of the aspect of positive growth, you're being an illusionist. Okay? Uh, take it as it resonates. Uh, I'm not, if it triggers you on this right here. I'm not trying to. Just write it down and when you look in the mirror and figure out why did that trigger you. That can be some shadow work uh, advice for you as well, Virgo, or uh, whoever's watching, okay? Now, not only that, uh, just be more aware. I feel like you are now starting to accept things the way that they are, okay? Now, it could be some people that you are probably done the act of service for and now they um, are probably looking at you differently or this could be a friend that you, that you down the ride for, but when other energies or other parties come around, the person may want to act funny now all right virgo you you or someone may have a poor decision that either you or someone else is finally letting the action of a situation finally take place what that basically means you probably letting spirit take over and just letting uh letting the wheels go okay uh now it may be a failed relationship, failed partnership, or it may be someone when it fails to come into a collaboration, or someone may be secretly trying to win at all costs behind your back without your knowing, Virgo, um, for a few of you, okay? Now, but Virgo, you may be feeling bitter or uptight, uh, or, or you may feel like the energy around you uh, is not really worth fighting over, okay? Now, this could be some draining energy or some self-absorbing uh, absorbing type of energy that may be coming in your atmosphere as well, okay, Virgo? But I finally feel like like you making the de uh, decision to accept destiny for what it is and you just walking more in your journey but we'll get more into that now virgo you had a major crossroad as well at this point whatever choice you're deciding on be precise and patient make sure you logical make sure you analytical you already know the answer to it but you don't have to go to like eight people for clarification or nine people to try to figure out if it's making suitable for you you live your own life you live your own journey you make your own rules that's why you are god god is King, queen. Now, watch out for fake friends, fake illusion, fake lovers, okay? Now, that's the downloads that we got. So, let's go ahead and jump up into this and go on to see what the messages is going on. Let's go into um, prayer first. 
Then we hit the meditation, okay? Spirit guys in the universe, we thank you right now for everybody coming to the channel, especially Virgo. Lead us, guide us, give us the blueprint and the understanding towards our highest good and highest expectations. Now, anybody wish any ill will mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or spiritually, we're not going to send it back to the sender. Instead, we're going to send that to the universe in abundance of love so it can be reciprocated back to us in abundance of love accordingly the right way it's supposed to be, okay? I say, I say, Amen. So let it be. All right. Let's go ahead and get into meditation. Now, make sure y'all hit that like button for me. That's all I ask for you because that's like you saying like you rocking with me. I'm rocking with you for the information. Rock with me with that light. Okay? Oh, that like. Okay. Into the light as well. All right. Here we go, Virgo. Breathe in. Positive energy. Positive light. Full abundance to your highest good and understanding. Now hold it. And release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns. Anything that's not suitable for you, we letting it go. All right, breathe in. Positive energy. Positive light. Full of butter towards your highest good and understanding. Now hold it. And release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns. Anything that's no longer suitable for you, we letting it go back. One more time, let's go ahead. Breathe in. Positive energy. Positive light, full abundance to your highest good and high expectations. Now hold it and release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns, anything that's not suitable for you. We're letting it go back to the universe in abundance of love. Ashe, Ashe, Amen. So let it be, okay? All right, let's go ahead and see what the energy is for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus. Let's go ahead and see uh, what decision is being made. Uh, your energy, this person energy. Let's just let's just rock in for a minute, okay? Spirit guys in the universe. What is the current energy for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus. I say, yeah, Virgo energy. <laughs> what else do we have for Virgo? I'm rising up on the Come on, spirit. Off it. Thank you. All right, here we go. Virgo, the main energy that we got for you right now is the Nine of Pentacles basically being upright, okay? Now, this is our energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo type of energy. Now, I feel like you are starting to reap your rewards about being more self-independent. Again, this is a card we pulled out yesterday. So, I feel like you're still in this type of energy where you are still in uh, self-loving yourself, being independent, being nurturing. Not only that, I also, when I look at the Nine of Pentacles uh, being upright, I also look at you being nurturing towards yourself. Some of you may be getting signs from animals. Birds can be very uh, particular and your heart chakra can be going out, uh, being, may I open it up by you helping yourself, being more happy, uh, being more happy, being more grounded, uh, or you're working towards that way, towards a new cycle. Okay, Virgo. Now it is clarified by the temperance card basically being in reverse. We also got the full card upright with the page of cups basically being upright as well. So Virgo, I feel like right now, um, uh, you are taking time to be more optimistic in the journeys by uh, taking more of your energy into yourself, uh, pouring it more back into you, being more intuitive with yourself, uh, being more enlightened when it dealing with love or dealing with friendships or dealing with any type of partnerships right now. And I feel like you are expressing yourself the way that you need to accordingly. OK, now, even though I feel like in this new cycle, the things that's going on, you may be trying to look for mental uh, so, uh, mental stability within yourself. OK, this is why you reaping the rewards you are uh you've been living your life you've been going through the uh the shadow work the groundwork you don't put in the work and the efforts into everything that you can but with the temperance card basically being in reverse virgo i feel like you're not flowing or somebody around you is not flowing uh or is not trying to let you flow the way you need to you need to be more precise on the things that you being optimistic about while walking into this unknown okay even though you are uh in the unknown even though you are in the know but i still feel like you taking this leap of faith to start focusing focusing on yourself and start keeping your energy on to you. Like you are being more delightful. You are being more diligent in the way that you walk and the things are like that and that type of nature, Virgo. And this is why you reaping the rewards and all and everything is coming to you. Like you close towards your legacy. So I feel like some of you, if you're working on a side job, if you're working on something on the side to build your entrepreneurship or anything like that, spirit woman to tell you to keep going. Or maybe this is somebody, while somebody may be envious of you because the way that you are flowing, you 
You may be flowing with spirit in the direction where it's going towards your purpose and the other and other people don't understand. And now they want to try to keep you quiet and stuff like that. They want to keep you in a confusion. <coughs> now, let's go ahead and get some clarification. See, somebody didn't want me to say that. They are lie tonight. All right. Spirit guys ain't the universe. What else do we have for Virgo? Some rising north node of Venus. Mm-hmm. Well, what else we have for Virgo? Ashe. See Virgo, yeah. Uh here we go, Virgo. Let me pick up this last one on the floor. So I feel like things may have been falling all over the place for you. But it's funny. Okay, now. We got some mirror era images, okay? So I'm going to break it down and tell you in a minute, okay? Now, again, you still reaping the wars. You're being more independent. You start working more on yourself and towards your growth for the, uh, your career. Uh, also, probably with your uh, with stability, dealing with love. It's like something you're working on yourself uh, to trying to grow, okay? Now, again, we got the temperance in reverse, clarified by the Queen of Cups basically being in reverse. So I feel like right now, what may be going on right now, you taking time or you need to take time to realize about any type of instability or any type of competition that may be coming into play, okay? Now, not only that, when I see the Queen of Cups in reverse, it may be you working on emotional instability as well and you taking time to try to be figuring out about more about what you need to do in your life and stuff like that in that manner. However, with the Fool card basically being upright and we also got the Nine of Pentacles basically being in reverse, it is letting me know uh, you being optimistic about the, the lack of, the uh, the self-doubts, uh, the conflict, the uh, the, the conflicts or the um, not only that is like verbal or I, I feel like for some of you it's like verbal fights, verbal fuse like you are being optimistic to walk away from this energy that's not keeping you grounded the way you need to be now any type of disputes or any type of vulnerability I feel like you're like hey I'm not dealing with it and right now with the page of cuts clarified by the temper it's like you are working in your inner flow you're trying to be an inner peace and you're keeping your emotions in check and you honestly understand about harnessing in your energy about what's going on about any type of situation in your life why you are reaping your rewards. So this is why you may have went into solitude away from people and around from other people things because you were more focused on yourself. Now let's go ahead and see about this other energy. I want to see what they... Spirit guys in the universe. Show me the other energy around Virgo. Show me the other energy around Virgo. I I I All right, Virgo, this is what we got. Now, this could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries that you could be dealing with, or this could be in the placements of the other person. Now, we got the Queen of Wands basically being in reverse, Virgo, okay? Queen of Wands in reverse is letting me know this person, the way how they probably looking at you, they understand, they know you got power, but they know right now they trying to be overprotective over something materialistic or trying to have a lack of passion about giving you your flowers or a lack of passion or seeing the truth or anything uh, about you, Virgo, or they may have a lack of passion, probably uh, envious of the way that you are being independent and start working more on yourself and not really helping other people, okay? Now, it is clarified by the five, by the hierophant basically being upright. We got the chariot in reverse, clarified by the page of pentacles basically being in reverse as well, okay, Virgo? <clears throat> Forgive me. So, it feels like to let me know, like, this person right here may be coming in with, like, a little no stability that, or, or a lack of passion about some type of information that, that you know that is creating no growth. So, this this person may be irresponsible, this person may be showing no trust, or this person may be stealing or harboring information from any uh from other people around right now that may be going on, Virgo, is probably trying to take the accolades or taking uh uh how to say taking everything uh up to consideration like a, a, a narcissist. That's the, just the best way to say it. So now, again, overprotective type of energy, Queen of Wands basically being uh, in reverse. So how they looking at you, or maybe this is how they feeling. They being overprotective about some type of information, some type of uh, uh, wisdom, or some type of um, 
information that's coming in to give, but it's not showing no growth. It's not showing no stability. And I feel like you, maybe Virgo, you may not be going, or this person may not be going of the way how optimistic you are about what's going on. Okay. Now it's starting to make sense. Okay, Virgo. Now I feel like while you reaping the rewards and you living in your self love and the self abundance, this person's been looking at over you or over here at you bitter, wondering how Virgo is doing this. Okay. Now, even though you are being precise in the times and working on, you know, uh, your, uh, instability emotionally, uh, going towards your stability. Uh, this person see right now, they're trying to find wise ways to come to you, Virgo, or trying to find some type of situation with the higher fit clarified by the Ace of Wands basically being upright. So I feel like they're trying to give you information about some type of new starting point, some type of new event, some type of new passion that this person may be going to. However, what's going on, thank you, Spirit, with the uh, chariot card uh, basically in reverse, clarified by the Ten of Wands upright. This is letting me know, like, even though they're trying to get information to you about this starting point about something new i feel like right now uh it's no growth being made and there's probably a lot of burdens they see that they can put on you but right now they are trying to uh not use you the right way page of pentacles basically being in reverse is letting me know that uh it's a irresponsible energy somebody may be stealing from you it could be stealing time it can be stealing your energy it can be stealing something but i feel like virgo right now whoever this person is with the irresponsibility i feel like this is you walking away or this person finding self-discovery within they self and realize that you know what's going on and it's coming right now with the queen again that's why they being overprotective about this okay virgo oh this is messy all right spirit guys in the universe what else do we have for virgo summarizing what's going on here asha spirit guys in the universe what else do we have for virgo Thank you. I'm sure. All right, Virgo. Right now, we got for you is right now we also see even though you are in, in, in your independence right and you walking alone you doing your solo thing right now I feel like you're going to receive recognition or receive victory coming in the near future or this can be a challenge that you may not understand yes you are receiving a victory and a recognition because it's clarified by the hermit card the moon card upright with the knight of wands upright they all upright so I feel like even though you're walking towards your future now uh, working on board your intentions having that willpower to get the things completed or the goals of the accolades you trying to do for you right now i feel like virgo you went back in solitude you went back in for a minute you want to find out what's the truth and clarity or uh, maybe what's going on about some type of situations or something dealing of secrets is being that's going to come to the surface or some type of an illusion or you trying to figure out like uh more about having your emotions in balance and why some type of energy is coming in in rapid motion about you receiving your victory okay now not only that virgo let's go ahead and get a little bit more I want to pull a little bit more. All right. Spirit guys and the universe. I'll say. I'm going to leave that right there. It flipped over though. Spirit guys and the universe. What else do we have for Virgo? Oh, God. Okay. Hold on, Virgo. Y'all know these cars be going everywhere on me. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Hold on. I got you. Don't log off on me. I got to pull one more. I got to get one more. So, Virgo, I feel like this person may be falling out, out over the place. Oh, y'all got it. And this person is really trying to get to the lowest part of what they trying to get to in their life. Or probably trying to be the lowest part to try to get over on you, Virgo, or anybody else that's around. Oh, gosh. That was a lot of work. Oh, goodness. All right. And Virgo, they probably tired about it too. Now, don't be laughing at me on that too. Let's get one more. Three you guys ain't here, Virgo. Let's do that for Virgo. I say, ooh, it popped up on the other day. All right. Now, Virgo, I feel like even though you went into hermit mode, it's because I feel like the reason why is because now you are starting to isolate yourself and find clarity about the energy that you were probably putting into or giving too much uh, energy into, okay? Now, not only that, I feel like right now you are starting to realize your intentions that you got options around you, Virgo. It's just not one area you can be in, Virgo. You do everything. You the jack or jill of all trades, okay? And now, not only that, and even though you see things coming in pursuit, you see it trying to suppress your emotions, that's why you started focusing on yourself. That's why you probably started cutting back away from certain type of energy, Virgo. And now with this person right here, even with the Queen of Wands, again, Leo Sagittarius Aries energy, even with that, even though the instability or the things that they may see, Virgo, that may be overprotective of the, about the materials or a lack of passion, it's coming in because with the Knight of Wands basically being in reverse, let me know they're protecting themselves because it's all over egotistical. Again, a narcissist. 
Spirit guys in the universe, what else do we have for Virgo? Yep. What else? All right, here we go. So Virgo, I feel like whoever this person is or this energy is, they're trying to get some wise information probably out of you for a new starting point or anything and like that, or probably a new uh, new effort, a new idea or anything like that. But Virgo, I feel like you walked away from a situation, okay? Or you walking away from a situation or a person see you walking away from a situation. This is why they feel in the way that they need, okay? Now, not only that, even though there's no growth, they may be going on and they feel like it's a lot of responsibility or a lot of burdens on their plate. However, when they look at you, they feel like you are the healer one. You're the one who always heal or you're making that sacrifice or you always do things blissfully and spirit guide you and lead you and this person see that. Now, not only that, you know this person is irresponsible or they may look at you like this or untrustworthy in a type of way, but I feel like Virgo, either you or them making a self-discovery, uh, even for feeling abandoned about something that was going on and spirit want me to tell you the wheels had to turn. That's just how it had to go. The wheels basically had to turn and the cycles had to be complete with this type of energy that's around you okay Virgo so just take that as it resonates as well but Virgo I do feel like uh right now you are starting to be more focused and you are truly focused on your journey and now that right now I feel like some type of conflicts may have happened between you and this type of energy I feel like it could have been ego in a way but it's some type of separation that had to be met or had or needed to be met to be met so some somebody can probably understand they lesson or in this season and you can understand yours. Yeah, Knight of Swords basically being all right. They're letting me know person trying to use this you for energy and over be overwhelming, but it's time to think for you react about any type of situation dealing with a discord. Now, not only that page of cups being upright. I feel like Virgo, you are holding your energy or this person holding their energy to become more balanced into the things that they want to do. And again, it's all some type of hurt or all some type of pain or some type of discord of or some, something that's not going in a happy ending like a person may think the way how it's supposed to be in this collaboration or dealing with this partnership or relationship. Yeah, I feel like right now, even though what's going on, uh, one of y'all is moving on away from a situation and it's like, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm not dealing with this. And spirit wanted to tell you to make the sacrifice. This wasn't even up in here. It's time to make a sacrifice. Not only that, Virgo, I feel like even though you moving forward, yeah, it's going to be grief and pity or pain. I feel like it could be a friendship with a person or it can be a job that you've been in. You've been loyal. It's some place that you have been in with long stability and now things are not going the way that it needs to be. And I feel like now you being more balanced in your journey in your life to keep pushing forward. Okay, Virgo? Let's see what else that we have. Spirit guys in the universe, what is the messages that you want to tell, Virgo? Asha? What is the message that you want to tell Virgo? 333 can be very significant to y'all as well. Take it as it resonates. Make sure y'all hit that like button. What else do we have? I ain't. Well, I'll take it. All right. Here we go. Virgo, spirit woman to tell you right now, four pinnacles basically being in reverse. It is letting you know right now, don't feel like that. Don't be carelessness. Don't hang on to any type of grudges or anything for too long. Learn from the lesson. Learn at the task in hand and learn about everything that's going on, okay? Now, it is clarified by the four wands in reverse, the page of pinnacles upright, and we got the seven of cups upright, okay? So, even though you are hanging on to something, don't let your attitude get in the way, or don't let your attitude block your success of an opportunity when it comes to new pro uh, promotions, offers, and new things coming in. Virgo, you got to also understand the options that you have is coming in beautifully after you go through whatever truth hurts or you've seen about a person or a type of situation. Can be dealing with love work or anything like this. Like, you got to take your loyalty out of the game. Be logical. Don't be in a stagnated situation, okay? Now, thank you, Spirit. Now, also, four wands basically being in reverse clarified by the judgment. So, I feel like you're making a valid, valid decision about your attitude, about dealing with somebody with your attitude, which you just not thinking about it no more. You feel like, hey, I'm in a transformation mode. You know, uh, this can be an ending cycle to something new, but hey, I'm more focused on my bag. I'm more focused on my growth and my stability or on Virgo growth and stability or whoever you are about whatever hurted you in the past and now you moving on forward because you know you got options in play. And I feel like this is what making a, another person around here jealous and to make a person so envious. Thank you, Spirit because right now they know with the Ten of Swords basically being up, uh, in reverse, you are progressing forward and you will progress and find some type of balance of whatever it is to help yourself grow and be in harmony and transition as you overcome
people coming over, obstacles and moving forward. Okay, Virgo? Let's see what else do we have for this other energy just a little bit. Spirit guys ain't in the universe. What else do have for the other energy? Oh, shoot. All right, y'all. Y'all know what? This is going to kill me, Virgo. I got to find a net or something. Ooh. All right, Virgo. All right, let's see what else that we got. Spirit guys in the universe. And I feel like this person going crazy. This person's cycles is going up and down. Like, at a moment, this can be dealing with, again, Leo, heavy with the Leo Sagittarius Aries. But I do see a lot of P uh, Pisces Cancer Scorpio, too. Take it as it resonates. I don't see too much of air sign up in this too much, okay? Now, all right. Thank you, Spirit. So, I feel like right now, this person may be going through some co conflicts. Trying to win at everything at cost. Trying to be defensive. Everything may be falling apart. And even though this person may be trying to stay uh, generous and trying to be humble and trying to show uh, show that they very uh, caring and nurturing. However, with the Knight of Swords basically being in reverse, all this gossip and manipulation and all of this is going to come to the surface and everybody probably going to move forward or, or probably that person is going to move forward away or it's probably got to go through the conflicting energies and go through the karma as well, Virgo, okay? Now, what, what, what other messages that we have before we close out? I got to give us all in, baby, okay? I'm going to pull out two. I'm going to be quick, okay? Now, Virgo, again, it's time for you to uh, pray to the ancient ones. Time for you to uh, listen to your ancestors, spirit guides, hide yourself, God, talk to them and pray. Get the messages that you need to understand them for, okay? And you also got to have courage in your walk, okay, Virgo? That's very, very important as well. So we're going to work on determination. Uh, Ms. Tika Mudra, this helps you in spiritual discipline, transformation, and willpower, okay? Optimize digestion, assimilation of nutrients, supports the kidneys and adrenal glands, cultivates determination and commitment to releasing a self-limiting belief. With each hand, curl the fingers inward, bringing the pads of the fingers toward the palm, thumbs, and to the outside. Bring the heels of the hands together and join the second joints of the fingers. Extend the two thumbs and bring together. Hold hands lightly against your abdomen. Relax the shoulders down and lengthen the spine. Focus on this, Virgo, okay? My sense of positive direction arises from within. My sense of positive determination arises from within. Okay, Virgo? Now, not only that, time for you to work on healing. The choices that you are making in your life for this new beginning will create an expansion for you. However, you got to go through the process. Trust the process dealing with spirit and they will get you through it. Okay, now home. You may need to change your home and this can be made cleaning your house, uh, detoxing your body as well. Your home is your temple. Your temple is your home. So you may need to make a better peace haven for what's going on in as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get a couple of affirmations. I'm going to pull them randomly. Make sure y'all hit that like button. And I love every single one of y'all. We're going to run with three today, okay? Now, I express myself fully as an act of self-love. I express myself fully as an act of self-love. All right. I am grateful to my body for supporting me through life. I am grateful for my body for supporting me through life. All right. I am worthy of a wonderful life. I am worthy of a wonderful life. And let's pull out couple spiritual messages all right virgo so i feel like right now what's going on we got the knight of wands basically being in reverse so don't let your ego be in a way of fight facing the demons or facing the problems that you need to need to see at hand in order to grow as well okay now not only that we got the queen of uh, wands uh queen of cups basically being in reverse don't have that in, in, uh, emotional instability with yourself and don't be spiraled out of control when people do things towards you that try to get you that way because remember when you spiral out of control they get you and they have control over you so stay humble and be logical and be in a peaceful solution and find out what you got to do now don't feel like you don't have a lack of will or desire to push forward because spirit is pushing you through this yes you have to go through a little hardship or a bump in the road, but understand and realize the things that you need to do in order to grow, okay, Virgo? So with that basically being said, peace, love, and light, light, love, and peace. If you want a personal, it will be in the description box below. Shout out to everybody. Again, hit that like button. I love every single one of you. Peace, love, and light, light, love, and peace. Till I see y'all beautiful souls till the next time, I just want to say, Ashe, Ashe, Namaste, I'm in, baby. Yep. Yeah.